Just in time. I'm so glad you got a one track mind like Bob. It's breakfast with Bob. Macho Man! Welcome again to day four of Breakfast with Bob. We are brought to you by Hoka One One Polar, Halo Neuroscience, VeloFix. Today's plan, Norma Tech, Four Seasons Resort, Hawala Lai, Triathlete Magazine, and we're at beautiful Huggos on the Rocks. Our next guest, February 1982 Ironman World Champion, Kathleen McCartney. Hey, Kath. Hey, good morning, Bob. It's great to be here. You just glow when you get close to this race. You love this thing, don't you? I love the Ironman World Championship more than any other race that I've ever done in my career. And I just feel like being here is such an honor. Yes, it is. And absolutely one of the best uh, experiences of my life every year that I'm here. And how many times, what, what number is this for you? This is number 12 world championship. Wow. <laughs> and when this last year you were here with Mike Levine. Yes. Dealing with pancreatic cancer. And this, yes. this uh, it, what was pretty amazing about this is Mike Levine was an early Ironman guy from the early 80s. Yes. And he'd been here twice and was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer a few years ago and was stage four. So he was basically told, you're gone. And... We had a going away party for him because he was going into hospice and that his wife asked us to throw and bring back athletes from the 80s to come be with Mike. Yes. And we had Kenny Souza and Scott Tinley and we had, Kathleen was invited and Julie Moss and all of us were there. And we thought Mike was leaving to go into hospice and Kathleen couldn't make it. Make it so she called Mike up and said, hey, let's go for a bike ride. He goes, bike ride? I, I'm getting chemo a number of times a week. I, I, all my lungs are all congested. I can't do anything. And you got him out on the bike. Yes. And what happened next? Oh, my gosh. I, I just wanted to get him off the couch. Right. So I had to entice him by doing something that I knew that he had passion for. I knew something that he loved. And Iron Man has been a sense and source of strength for me. When you've gone through tough for, times. For decades. And this is where I find my strength when I need it. And so I figured that perhaps M Mike could do the same thing. So I got him out on the bike on the Coast Highway. And we rode an hour, ran into you that day. Yes. And uh, he, we had to stop every few miles for him to catch his breath. But he loved it. And there's a spark and I think some like connection back to Iron Man and his source of strength, which he was able to tap into. And one ride led to another. We were riding weekly. Then I got him in the pool. I got him walking. And after a few months, he knew that I was training for Iron Man in 2017. He said, Kath. I want to do Iron Man again. And I said, I believe you can do it. Do you? And, and he and said, absolutely. And you were going absolutely. to chemo with him. It's not like he was still going through chemo. Oh, yeah. He's on chemo for life. I've never missed a chemo treatment since I met him. He goes every other week. I go to every doctor appointment with him and Jan. And he's become my family. And now he's part of our triathlon family again. And, you know, this event, this race, all of you here have helped to prolong his life, bring him back to life. No he got question. to race last year. So As an ambassador. we surprised Mike actually at, a, at a, a party we were doing for 30th anniversary of Competitor Magazine. Had Mike and Kathleen there, and we got all these Ironman legends up on stage. And then I had Kathleen surprise Mike with a spot in the Ironman World Championship for last year. And here's a guy with pancreatic cancer, and a few months earlier was told that you have you know less than six months to live. And last October, you guys were in the bay together. Oh my how special was that? Oh, my God. I just can't even believe that we really made it to that point. Like, we made it to the starting line. It, it wasn't an easy journey training with Mike and taking someone that has stage 4 pancreatic cancer, had metastasized to his lungs on chemotherapy for life. A chemotherapy a protocol that would normally kill you. It's so right. toxic. And here we are training, you know, 150 miles a week on the bike, swimming walking, running, and coming back to life. He told me that I'd breathe the life back into him, and I believe that Iron Man breathed the life back into him and our community. So here we are, you know, the gun goes off, Mike heads out on the swim, and uh, the most amazing thing, and I, I, I can't explain this, but halfway through the swim, I took one breath the entire race on my left side, and I had just past the turnaround boat, I took a breath, and there was Mike, <laughs> arm distance away, just 
treading water. And I found like the needle in the haystack, the grain of sand amongst. Because the women went the off, what, five minutes after the men? And you 15. ended up catching. 15 minutes after. So you caught him. I caught him on the came swim. And you guys I'm, came in together. Yeah. And I'm just like, Mike, what are you doing? Come on, man. Get on my feet. Let's get going. And it was a, it was a struggle back in. But he got in. He got in. And we finished together. And like, it was just absolutely beautiful. I, we never ran through that scenario in our mind at all. Like, no. I thought that, uh, you know, we'd come in independently. Sure. And... But, uh, yeah. And then Beautiful. he got through like 56 miles of a bike. Yes, yes. 53 miles 53 of a bike. 53 miles. 53 miles of a bike. Got lightheaded and knew yes. it was too dangerous to yes. continue on. But for somebody who six months earlier was on his deathbed to be at that starting line, to get through a 2.4 mile swim in his 53 mile bike ride. I remember his Dr. Fanta was there, his, yes. his, his, his doctor, and he was blown away. He'd yes. never seen anything yes. like it. He'd yes. never had a patient do anything oh, like no. that. no, no. And, and so no. now you guys spoke... All over the U.S. this year yeah, yeah. on exercise and pancreatic cancer. Yes, yes, and we've just been trying to set the message out there, like even under the most dire circumstances. Obviously, Mike thought that he was going home, back, he was moving up to, to, hospice. to hospice to die because he'd spent 18 months on a couch. And the power of sport, the power of exercise, the power of friendship, camaraderie, everything that we all came together to provide for him and Iron Man providing him the yep. opportunity to come back here where life is. Like exactly. I come back here as often as I can because this is living. This is living joyfully and fully. So this year, Mike is over here watching. Yes, he's flying in at one o'clock today. Oh, that is so <laughs> cool. He's coming in to watch yes. and so you're getting to basically race for him. Yes, yes. I will race for Mike. I'm gonna we we hope to be back together finishing uh, last year's um, race which yes. i consider one of my best races of my life and i consider a victory for both of us because we started yes and oh, we no did question our about best it. yes and so this year i'm going to finish i'm going to be like thinking of all the people that are so near and dear to me i'll be thinking of mike of course finishing for him we mentor other pancreatic cancer patients um paul smith who passed away this year is part of my iron man in minutes rope program um katie gutsweller she's part of my iron man in minutes program i have a little band on my wrist that represents all of my iron man in minutes pancreatic cancer patients who my mentor regularly right um even um you know barbara warren um i know barbara warren's daughter and this is this rep necklace is a representation for the beautiful strength that the Barbara provided for all of us here and all of her adventures Love and it. triathlons all over the world. So with so much gratitude in my heart, um, so much happiness to be able to be here racing at Ironman, it's, it's such a gift to me that I just want to, to share that journey with everybody. everybody. Love it. How about a round of applause for Kathleen McCartney? Thank you. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you. I'm so glad you got a one track mind like me and breakfast with Bob. Hi, Joe.